you doing over there, maybe? Well, Flower, I am changing my incandescent light bulbs with this new compact fluorescent light bulb. It's going to save me so much money. It's so energy efficient. And not only is it going to save me money, it's going to save the planet, too. What? Are you crazy? How does it that? How does it do it on a, a global stage, the, big, the bigger picture? Well, you see, it saves it. my house doesn't emit so much carbon because I use less energy. That's how it saves on the global picture. That's so crazy. How are they made? They look so complex and out of this world. I don't know. Maybe we should look it up and see how it looks on the life cycle of the fluorescent light bulb. Hey, where are we? Uh, I think we're in Algeria, maybe Russia, or China. What? I mean, like, no, where are we? What is this place? Oh, we're in an open pit mine that mines cinnabar ore. That's where they get the mercury from. Well, why do we have to come in all these funny, weird countries? Why can't we just do it in the United States of America? Well... It's because they banned it in the United States, and Spain, and Australia. That sounds... What? Why would they do something like that? It's so much more accessible there. Well, they say it's harmful to the workers. That's crazy. That's what I said. Well, that was a long, bumpy ride. Where are we now? We're at the factory where the light bulbs are made. After the complex process of extracting the mercury from the cinnabar ore, getting the glass, the plastic, the electronics, and the brass, and then putting it all together and trucking it to the Shanghai port. You're trying to tell me all those things are in that little tiny light bulb? Yep, just take a look. So, where are we headed now? Well, like I said, up to the port of Shanghai to see the light bulbs off on their journey across the ocean. Exhausted. Los Angeles was quite the place. Crazy. Well, hop in the truck. We're about to go all the way up north to Thunder Bay, Ontario. The Home Depot. <sighs> that was a long trip all around the world. So, here we are at home. Still switching our complex fluorescent with our incandescent so that we can get better fuel efficiency. Well, so does that mean we're done? But, you know, what do we do with them when they're all burnt out? You just toss them in the garbage like any other incandescent light bulb? Or, like, what happens to all that mercury? Well, I guess we better find out. I think that might be recycled or something. Ooh, that sounds fun. Let's go take a look. Whoa, what is this place? This is the recycling plant. What are those big, tall barrels for? That's where the mercury goes once it gets sucked out of the light bulbs. So, do they just, does the mercury just stay in the light, I mean, in, in the barrels forever? Uh, I guess so. Maybe it gets recycled, or maybe it just stays there. You mean forever and ever 
and ever and ever? I guess until the metal rots and it leaches into our water supply. Oh, is that what they call mercury poisoning? Yeah, that's what they call mercury poisoning. Oh, it's nice to know where the source is coming from. Cool! <laughs> so here I am, putting in my complex fluorescent. Here! Here, let me help you! Whoa! 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 I need somebody. Not just any Oh my gosh! 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 The vaporizing! The vaporizing! Get out quick! Get out quick! What's happening to me? What's happening to me? It hurts my. My sleep skin is slurred. I can't see anything. Well, there's any number of things that could be happening to us. Mercury poisoning takes many forms. It affects the brain, kidney, and lungs. It results in se several diseases. Pa panic disease, Hunter Russell syndrome, Minerva's disease, ah! important vision, hearing, and speech loss, lack of coordination. This is all toxic. The toxins can get into the groundwater, the rivers, and the sea. appreciate you tell me all about this compact fluorescent light thing but you know coming all the way from China and that whole you know mercury poisoning incident I don't I don't know how I feel about it and you know I can just get this light in Canada it keeps my house warm I don't have to worry about that bad incident of mercury poisoning and I'm just gonna stick to the incandescent light bulb. It's better, and that warm light it gives off reminds me of the good old days. But thanks, and I kind of recommend going back to the incandescent light bulb. <laughs>